Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream video for the Empowered Spirit Show. This is where we come on, talk about the energy for the week, and we pick a few cards for guidance as well. How is everyone doing? So much energy going on. Last week was intense, right? Give me a thumbs up if you felt that as well. I know I did. Oh my God, where are you? Joining from Abu Dhabi? Wow, how exciting is that? Yeah, so much energy going on. Did you see the full moon over there? Isn't it great how the moon is full no matter where we go, right? When it's full, it's full. Well, I know I felt a lot of that energy, and I know now I'm glad some of it's starting to dissipate, but there's still a lot of shifting and changing going on. Lots of things happening. We're all starting to feel that energy coming forward, right? So this week, really, the big news this week is coming into the last week of the um, fall energy into winter solstice. So that's the big news this week, where days are getting really shorter, light is getting shorter, days are short, nights are long. And yes, yeah, some of us can feel that energy of like, ah, can kind of drop our vibration. So really the key is to really find ways to lift your vibration up as we move through this week. We're moving into that fourth phase. Right now we're in the third phase of the moon, so we're doing all that releasing and letting go, that reflection, even that integration. This is a great week to do integration of all the energy from the season ahead, from the fall season, and look at what is going on so that you can integrate and go through and really just kind of dig through that energy so that you can kind of move it all out, especially as we move into that winter solstice. All right, so really this is kind of like, I would say almost like the, the calm before the storm because after that we've got the new moon and all the eclipse energy and all of those trines coming in. So this week is really a great time to kind of clean up, go through your work, go through your week, go through your papers, what can you let go of? Even your computer and your files, just like kind of clean it all out, reflect on what works, save the files that didn't, and delete the ones that aren't good for you. That's really what the energy is for this week. So as you go through the week, I know we're all in that crazy energy of the holidays and all the last minute shopping. We're coming down to the wire here, right? But really finding the time to slow down, to take the time to journal. I know for myself, my journal's been out. I've been writing down how I'm feeling and I've been going through a lot of my own stuff. All right, we all do, but that's how we grow. That's how we learn. And that's how we look in face of what it is that we're doing. Really important that we do that. Really, really important. Yes, for sure. So what is it for you? What are you going through? What needs to be looked at? These are kind of the questions that we ask ourselves. All right, that big old full moon and Gemini and Sag energy, it really started us to look at like partnering, communications, What's our vision? We started to ask those questions last week, and now we're kind of like looking at it, and then we start to release out that excess energy. The moon already is starting to release, and that's what we do too. And that's going to help you move into that winter season feeling so much more refreshed, feeling like you have an idea of where your life is going. Maybe you don't, but think about it. What is up for you? All right. We're ending that decade, right? And so I know for myself, I've done a lot of reflection. That decade was big for me. What has it been for you? And what can you learn from it? So sometimes when we go through the energy and sift through it and all, we bring up stuff that we like, oh yeah, I forgot about this. All right. So that's the energy we're in this week as we move through that third phase into the last phase of the moon. And again, the dark of the moon for some people can be hard. All right, it's a lot of like not enough not light, the days are shorter, the darkness is out there, but we do go in and do our work. And that's what's the important part is like, where do we do our work? And let me say this, that even if you have some trials and tribulations, even if you're not sure of what's going on, you have some struggles, it doesn't mean you're off your path. It doesn't mean like everything's not working. It just means that this is what we need to do in order to get back on your path, in order to understand what it is. And this is actually part of the path. You know, as they talk about in the medicine wheel, course correct. We just keep moving the rocks around, shifting the energy around. I know I read, I, I shifted all my inner, my furniture today because I have a fireplace and you couldn't see the fireplace. So I shifted all that around. And every time I walk into my living room, I'm like, oh, wow, right? And that's what we do. We want to shift the energy, move it around, open up to that energy that can help us better understand. So this week, and even like from last week starting 12-12, we're in that portal of energy as well, high vibration. So when you can, go into your meditation and really feel that alignment, that Merkaba, that light body energy. We had a great meditation yesterday over at Birmingham Yoga. We really opened up that vibration for the energy body, fed it with color and sound. And that's what we want to do. We want to raise up that vibration with all the light, even though we don't see it. 
All right, and that's kind of what people are like, what are you talking about? I don't see the light. The light's getting shorter, right? But it's the vibration of light that we're talking about. And that portal of energy from 1212 to 1221, that's what we're working with. And that's what you can work with too to really activate the higher dimensions for your own self. All right, so even though we don't see it, it is happening. Consciousness is shifting for all of us. So you can either work against it or work with it and really help to open up your vibration. That's a choice we all have. And that's what we're going on. So I did offer a Merkaba, I think a Facebook Live on Wednesday on 1212. And if you missed it, my podcast just dropped on yesterday. And I do offer a Merkaba meditation and talk a little bit more about what that is. So be sure and check that out. And that can help lift your vibration especially during the dark of the moon, which is coming up towards the end of the week, all right? So really, what is the energy for you? What's working, what's not, letting go, and even doing those ceremonies. And when do we come into that winter solstice? A great time to burn it away. Really, do a little fire ceremony. We could talk about that more next weekend, but do a fire ceremony. Burn away stuff that doesn't serve your path anymore. And that's how we really, by ritual, by ceremony, can really come into better understanding of where we are right now. So the theme for this week really is that reflection and integration. Take the time to slow down amongst all the holiday stuff and just really kind of do a double check on what it is that's going on for you. And then we come into next Saturday, the winter solstice. It's a great time to celebrate, make a fire, be with those that you like, really open up, drink some hot chocolate. It's all this beautiful energy without all the religious stuff attached to it, all right? It's just a way to really open up and feel that vibration and that shift of energy. I love winter solstice. I love winter. Winter pulls us in, all right? Even though the days are shorter, it pulls us in. And that's what the spirit is calling us to do, to come in. What are our dreams? What are our visions? What can we really bring in from the world beyond, from our ancestors? That's what's calling us to do. So even though the light actually does start to return, we still are pulling our energy in. And it's a great time to do that, all right? So... Find out those things for you. Find those modalities that really work for you. Whatever it is, meditation, Reiki, Oracle cards, pranic healing, working with Akashic tools, any of those things that work for you, that's what you need to do, all right? I know for myself, I got my journal back out, asking the questions that I need to uncover answers that I just can't seem to get to yet. Patience, all right? Be kind to yourself, have patience. There's a lot of energy flying out there. So really finding the time to drop into the heart and open up to the energy. All right, let me know how that feels for you. And let's just go ahead and take a moment and center our energies, bringing it all in. And let's open up to the vibration of peace. Peace is a beautiful high vibration. It lifts our energy. And then today we actually have a, an aspect going on with Jupiter, which is really kind of a lucky aspect. So we're gonna do the meditation, working with that vibration of I am peace, and then I'm going to offer you the opportunity to set a wish. Really, just set a seed of energy out there as this Jupiter aspect is moving in the cosmos for us all. All right, so let's begin. Wherever you are, if you can, just take a nice deep inhale and exhale away. Inhaling. And exhaling, let it go, let the week go, whatever whatever stress or trauma or whatever struggles you have, just let it go for right now, becoming present with your energy, inhaling, and exhaling, starting to pull your energy in, feel it coming in, calling in your spiritual body, aligning it right on top of the physical body. Shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Feel the energy pulling in from your week, perhaps from the weekend, all the running around. Start to feel yourself grounding. Feel the connection with Mother Earth. And then as you take that breath, bringing it up the body, connecting to the higher realms, and exhale, pulling that energy all the way back down, deep into the earth. Inhaling and exhaling. Calling in our guides, our masters, our teachers, the archangels. Call in your spirit guide. We ask that they work with us and through us to surround us and protect us as we open up to the energy of this week. Feel that energy coming forward for you. As I talk about with the medicine wheel, it's always turning. So here we are right at the very end of the fall season. So we take this opportunity for harvesting our work, for reflection, 
for integration of all the energies we've been through as we offer gratitude for the seasons of life. We anchor in the directions. The west is where we are right now, where the sun sets. We offer that gratitude. We look to the north, the season of winter that is coming in. We call in the energies. We look at the east and the south, above us, below us, pulling in right into the very center, opening up, calling in your spirit, taking a moment and feeling that intention coming forward for you this week. Feel the intention right there in the third eye center and begin to embody that energy for you. Whatever it is that you're working for, reaching for, intending for, what will that embodiment of energy feel for you? What is that elevated emotion? I like to talk about peace. Perhaps it's love. Perhaps it's abundance. Whatever it is for you, embody that energy as you set those intentions. As you breathe up the body, just using that mantra, I... As you exhale out, am, inhale, peace, and exhale, quiet. I am peace. Let it anchor in. I am peace. Feel the vibration lifting. I am peace. I am peace. And then taking a moment and setting out that wish for you, for that lucky Jupiter energy that's coming forward. What is that wish? What is that seed of energy you want to set out into the universe right now? Maybe it's your intention. Maybe it's something else. You make that choice. Inhaling. And exhale. Sending it out. Setting that seed of energy. Inhaling. And exhaling. Bringing the awareness back. Holding that vibration for what you want to embody. Holding that vibration of peace, bringing the energy back, coming back. All right. I am peace. Peace is the highest vibration, according to Dr. David Hawkins. It's above joy. It's above love. So when we raise that vibration to peace, the lesser vibrations can fall away. So as we go to look to the cards, the wild unknown, the first card that comes up is a five. It's a five of, five of swords. So fives really kind of indicate change, maybe even sometimes a little bit of challenges or struggles. So this card is kind of a good card because it reminds us to kind of look at our mental thoughts, right? And notice where you're cutting yourself off. It's like we've cut this worm in half. All right, where are you self-sabotaging yourself? And generally, it's of the mind, the thoughts you're telling yourself, the self-sabotage. Where are you getting lost in all the chatter of the mind? All right, a great reminder for all of us as we move through the holiday season is to drop into the heart, get out of the mind, all right? So where are you working on that energy? Lots of times, this represents a lot of ego energy. You'd rather be right than really get to the resolution. So really, where can you take a step back and drop the chatter of the mind and open up more to that heart energy, all right? So that's the card that all of us can work with this week. We all can work with that, right? We all can be so hard on ourselves sometimes. So the ways in which we move about this, if you chose card number one, all right, this is about just doing your work. This is an eight of pentacles. This is like, I like this card because it kind of reminds us just keep doing your work, keep working out what you need to work at, keep building your craft, things are working out, look at the details, especially right now as we come to the end of the year, this is a great card to remind us, okay, where are the details of our craft? What are we doing? What do we need to build for ourselves that's going to help us get out of the chatter and recognize that earth energy, grounding with the earth and bringing in the abundance for you, especially as we prepare for next year. All right, the second card that comes up is the Son of Pentacles. And this really goes really well with this because Pentacles, Pentacles, earth energy, but it's also about just kind of like being steadfast, like just keep doing your work, not getting caught in the drama, which is what this card is. So when we can really 
be methodical, be logical, just not even necessarily logical, but really methodical and just keep doing our work. The only thing this card reminds us of is sometimes lift up every once in a while and look at the horizons. Don't always keep your head down, all right? But do your work. Really, it's that like really just like plowing along, really, really being grounded in all that you're doing. All right. Also a great card, especially as we run around crazy at during the holidays. All right. We have another five for the third card. And there's some healing that comes with this card. This is the five of cups. So you may feel a little sadness coming up, but sometimes when we move through change, we have to do this. All right. I know I've been in and out of sadness these last couple of weeks myself. All right. So we just kind of have to process the energy. That's all we can do is sit with it, journal. This is what has really been helping me to do. Just journal my thoughts, journal what's going on. So the Five of Cups does indicate there's a little emotional energy. It can be a little intense, which is really kind of normal as we move through the holiday season and into this season of winter as well. Some of us can feel that. So if you do feel like you're just like feeling down, lift your head up. Find some of that horsepower to help open up. It's always good to feel your energy, feel your emotions. I know I'm a big emotional body, and so sometimes I just have to sit and cry. <laughs> but journaling has been a very helpful for th me, for thing for me to do, and maybe it can help you as well. All right, so again, to review for all of us, don't get caught in the chatter of the mind. Where are you self-sabotaging? Where are you cutting yourself off? Especially if you're moving through changes, all right? Five is about change. All right, do your work. Get your details, just keep going, seeing what's working, what's not. This is a very prosperous card. Eights are about our prosperity as well. Be methodical, keep doing what you need to do, keep just pushing ahead, nice, slow and easy pace. You'll get your work done and you'll see where you are. And then notice where you do need to do a little healing, especially in the emotional heart. All right, don't keep your head down too much. Lift it up every once in a while to get the bigger picture. All right? All right, so take a nice deep inhale and let's see. Let's see who has questions, who'd like cards. And again, if you missed the podcast, it was a really great meditation on the Merkaba, activating the light body and how important it is to do right now. All right, my last event coming up, my last event for 2019 is next Wednesday night at Birmingham Yoga. We're going to celebrate the winter solstice. So come join us. Jen Dunbar from Harvest Moon will be my guest. We have a great evening plan. We're going to be using that light labyrinth again, really working on the light, bringing in the angels as well as opening up to the vibration. So come join us. And then Birmingham Yoga will be closed. My meditations, all that, your restorative yoga. Back to 2020 is when you'll see me again. So definitely come join us and take a take um, the opportunity to get with us as well. All right, so we've had some requests from cards. All right, so over here, let's see. Maris wants a card. Hey, Ashley, Ashley and J.M. Russo. All right, we have a card over there. And then Ernest and Kendall. All right, we got a good order here. How's your Reiki going, Ashley? All right, Marissa, this card is for you. Dun, da, da, da. All right, the sun. I love it. The sun is shining for you. So just remember that things are happening. Things are changing. Open up. Look how the red and the yellow is the center of energy. It's like that saying, like the sun is shining on your back door. So don't forget, even if it seems a little challenging right now, which it will, all right? We're in that kind of year. We're in that kind of season right now. But just remember, too, that the sun is shining for you. Find those aha moments. I know you know what I'm talking about. And just keep opening up to the energy. All right? Very good. All right. Ashley, you said you attended a Reiki circle. Excellent. I can't wait to hear about that. All right. So, Ashley, this is a card for you. And then, JM, a card for you. All right. Father of Wands. So, Ashley, this is about staying strong in your passions. Look how that, that uh, snake is up there. So there is some transformation coming around. We have the um, lightning bolt, all right? It's red. So that thing means that sometimes when you really go into your passions, things can change and things can change pretty fast. So knowing what your passions are, be a master to that energy, keep doing your Reiki and notice the changes that are coming for you. I really like this card. It's really one that really opens up to really honoring the changes coming forward. Don't be afraid of them, okay? All right, JM, card for you. The mother of wands, how funny, all right? And I drew right from the middle, all right? So this is that energy too. This is like kind of like, okay, excuse the language, but don't fuck with me, all right? This is that energy of the mother, like really protecting her energy. And it's really more about your passions. Even though we see the little eggs in there for the babies, this is more about your passions, your projects, your creative energy. Don't mess with me. 
Don't call me out. I know what I want to do. Go for it. Look at the colors in the background, the reds and the yellows. Those are fire colors. So keep that passion coming alive. Hold to what you have and don't let people mess with you on whatever they have to say. All right. Let me know how that resonates for you. All right. Kindle a card for you. Oh, Ernest and then Kindle. Hey, Jackie, I'll come back to you in a minute. All right. Ernest. Ernest, we have the Seven of Swords. So this is always an interesting card. So this is, again, of the mental plane. And this has got that little fox in there. So there's a little bit of secrecy going on. So the question for you, Ernest, is, is there a secret you're keeping or someone keeping a secret from you? So be sure to really look at the bigger picture. All right. And it's of the mental. So it's some of that chatter, too, of the mind. But there is a little bit of that sly energy. So be aware. All right, really check your, your resources. Be aware of what's going on. Let me know how that resonates for you, all right? All right, Kendall, how you doing, woman? Daughter of Swords. All right, so Kendall, this is a great card to really look at the details of what's going on. It kind of reminds me of the, the pentacle card of building your craft, but this is someone who is very perceptive. It's an innocent energy. She has some of that psychic energy, so be sure to pull it forward, but don't let the details get too picky, all right? That's always the caution for this daughter energy. We can be a little critical. So do look at the details. Do pick out the facts that are going on for you. And be sharp with what you preserve, or what you observe, all right? Always observing. Very important card. All right, Janet, just stopped the medication. Would like to confirm this is okay. All right, let's see what the cards have to say, Janet. So there's going to be some changes coming up. This is an eight of, of, of um, wands, all right? And the lightning bolt. So that is like... Um, it's going to be a big change, so be careful what you do. Make sure you came off the medication right, and you're going to notice the shift of energy. So really being really aware of what that shift is and if it is working for you, okay? So be careful about that. It could be a very fast. Make sure you came off that medicine correctly, okay? All right. Let's see where we are. All right, Jackie. Don't fuck with Jackie, right? I mean, don't fuck with uh, Den Denise, right? Okay, Jackie, this card's for you. All right, and I got a ha-ha secrecy from Ernest, right? The fox, it's sly. There is some secrets going on. All right, Jackie. Jackie, we got the Mother of Pentacles. So this is a very nurturing card. This is really connecting with the earth. This is getting your projects out there. And I always like to say, even though we see this little one here, like really nurturing yourself first, and then you'll be able to take care of everybody else around you, all right? You're coming into the holiday season, so make sure you take care of you. Really important. Really connect with Mother Earth. Go there and be there and be that nurturing energy, first and foremost, for yourself, and then everybody else will follow around. All right, got a little joking going on over here on Instagram. I love it, you two. All right, Kendall says, thanks. Ja Janet, let me know how that resonates for you. All right, anybody else did I miss? I'm so glad you had a Reiki circle in Tuscaloosa. That is just awesome. All right, y'all, lots of energy going on. Be careful. I know for me, it's been really challenging, and I'm doing my practice, so keep to your practice. It will help you find the answers you need and move forward. Enjoy this week, because next week, there's so much going on, but really take some time to reflect, to look at your life, to really integrate the energy. Really important as we move out of one season and into the next. If you are in the Birmingham area, I'm going to be up at the Medicine Wheel. Let me know if you want to come join us. Message me and I'll give you the information as well. I put some information on Facebook as well. The medicine wheel, time to course correct as we move from one direction into the other, into the new season ahead. All right, come join us over at Birmingham Yoga. Don't forget to listen to the podcast. Really good meditation as well. All right, I think I've gotten everybody. All right, she said she's weaned herself off. Good, all right, good. We always have to be careful, but you should notice a big change. It looks like a kind of a quick change coming up for you as well. All right, everyone, just take a moment as we go to close the energy. Feel your energy pulling in. Ground for the week ahead. Ground as we move from one season to the next. Coming out of the end of a decade as well. We'll talk about that more next week. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Be strong in your practice. Open your heart. Have compassion for one another. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm always grateful to have this time to talk, to chat, to offer the information. Thanks for joining me. To your spirit, namaste.